Hi everyone, welcome to TechView Hub. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how we can create fragment using fragment container view. For this, first we are moving to Java folder. Inside the folder, we are creating a new fragment. New fragment fragment blank fragment name is fragment 1 clicking on finish so inside the fragment 1 dot java class we are only keeping the on create view method and removing the remaining codes next we are moving to fragment 1.xml here we are changing the frame layout into constraint layout Next we are removing the text view. Next we are creating a new text view and adding the layout width as wrap content and layout height as wrap content. Next we are adding the text as fragment creator. Placing the text view at the center. Next, we are changing the background color of the constraint layout into purple. Next, we are moving to activity main.xml. Here, we are placing the text view above. And adding the new fragment container view. Layout width is match parent layout height is 500 dp adding the id as Fragment 1 Placing this fragment container view below the text view Now we are running the app. We can't see the fragment. So if we need to add the fragments inside the fragment container view, we can add the Android name attribute to the fragment container view and adding the fragment 1 class inside it
now we are running the app the fragment is placed inside the fragment container view if we need to add the fragment programmatically we can remove this android name attribute and move inside the main activity.java here we are creating an instance of fragment manager fragment manager fragment manager is equal to get support fragment manager next we are creating a fragment transaction fragment transaction fragment transaction is equal to fragment manager dot begin transaction now we are adding the fragment class inside the fragment container view so we are adding fragment transaction dot add inside this we are adding or dot id dot fragment one fragment one dot class ox is null so what we are doing now is we are adding the fragment one java class inside the fragment container view which has the id of fragment one so we are mentioning it as our dot id dot fragment one next we are setting the set reordering allowed to true next we are commenting the transaction fragment transaction dot comment now we are running the app so the fragments are placed inside the fragment container view programmatically thanks for watching the video